Hey everyone, I am Uttam Singh and in this video I am going to talk about MLH Fellowship. So if you recently applied to MLH Fellowship and if you get rejected then this video is for you. And also if you are planning to apply for MLH Fellowship then also this video is for you. In this video I am going to tell you every aspect of MLH Fellowship, what they look for and how you can improve your profile. So next time whenever you are applying for MLH Fellowship you will get to know that you know what were the mistakes you did in your previous profile when you know filling out the forms and filling out the essays writing essays and all those things so watch this video till the end and i will provide you all the tips and i will also tell you how you can improve your application but before that subscribe to the channel right now and also hit the like button i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this video if you will subscribe the channel it will mean a lot to me and also go and share it with your friends and also share it on twitter and linkedin and do tag me all my profile links are in the description of the video you go and follow me and you know if you have any doubts feel free to ping me on twitter or linkedin or on instagram okay let's get started with the video so here i am on the mlh fellowship website you will uh, get the link to mlh fellowship website in the description of this video and uh, you can visit it and here you will see something like this and here from here you can apply to mlh fellowship so if you still don't know what is mlh fellowship then it is a 12 week internship program you know that is a basically an alternative to those internships where you can you know apply and you can you know earn actual money by you know working on some real life projects with some you know top companies and contributing to some open source projects right so you know this is all about mlh fellowship and there are two tracks as well one is you know prep fellowship and one is mlh fellowship an mlh fellowship uh, you know runs three times in an year so you can if you can apply to you know any one of the track and whenever you will apply you know you will learn more about it and you know you can visit the website you can see you know there will be a proper community you will be you know earning while learning and you know you will gain gain some real life uh, you know learning experiences you can see all those reviews as well you know people who have been you know applying to it and there are also some you know uh, three tracks as well one is open source one is software and product engineering so you can you know apply to any one of the track uh, wherever you feel you know correct right so you know let's get started with uh, applying and i have already you know opened all the tabs right so you can uh, you will be you know going through all this process but i have opened all, already all the tabs so let's go each and every step and i will provide you i will tell you what you did wrong in your application why you got rejected and if you are applying if, if you are applying for the first time also then you know these steps will definitely help you so watch till video watch this video till the end right uh, so our first step is whenever you will be applying you know this will ask you are you ready for mlh fellowship you know it will tell you information about what is mlh fellowship and uh, all these aspiring technologies you know people are there who are applying for mlh fellowship and there will be a short introduction basically about mlh fellowship and it is saying that it will take around 30 to 45 minutes to complete the application so you know also you can save the mlh fellowship uh, application once and then you can continue later on as well right so if you don't have time right now also then you know apply to it uh, right now and uh, if you don't and uh, you can skip it and you know you can uh, continue it later on as well right so if you, so if you click on the next page you will see you know elib uh, eligibility check up right so if you are eligible for the program or not so there will be instruction and you know there are program qualification that you have 18 you are above age 18 and you are your residency you are not uh, you know i do not reside in country and graded by united united states basically blocked by united states other than that there are time commitments communication coding experience you should have a basic coding experience at least in one programming language you should have a communication skills so basically you will be you know uh, talking in english and all those things you have to you know uh, be you have to have a good communication skills because you will be working with uh, people all around the world globally right so you should uh, have a proper communication skills and you know they also have a proper interview just for those communication skills right so you should have a proper environment and av setup as well right so uh, when you click on to the next page you will see uh, create your profile so we'll, you will have to create your own profile to give you basic information and then you know portfolio and resume right so in this case like you know if you got rejected recently one of the tip would be to you know create your resume properly so if you just minimize your resume to a single page write what are all are the details that are requirements like you know i i've seen people uh, in the education sector they are writing i scored this one in 10th class 12th class and then they are uh, engineering and all those things so don't take you know all these spaces in just education focus on things that matters your actual experience working in the industry right that that that's what matters and if you don't have experience write your skills write whatever you have achieved if you have worked in a hackathon right uh, write that out and if you have you know contributed to community recently uh, you know write that provide links to that but uh, you know don't waste your uh, uh, resume half page resume and just writing the education section right so you reduce that education sector write about your projects your real life projects whatever you have built and all those things and restrict it to only one page even you know if you have a lot of experience definitely a lot of experience and if, if it's not coming in one page then only go for second page but restrict it to only one page and then uh, coming on to the github profile so github profile should be good like you know have a proper read me whatever you do your highlight all your projects other than that uh, you know on your github profile pin all those projects that you have been working on your you know main project showcase them 
all those projects should have a proper readme file we will be discussing about the projects as well in the but yeah on, on a linkedin profile as well mention everything wherever you study what are the experiences you know what are your achievements what are your highlights you know uh, i will also provide if you want i can also create a video for linkedin profile uh, how you should have a proper linkedin profile and you know how to use linkedin effectively but uh, if you want that write down in the comment section but still you know this is a proper linkedin profile you should have if you also going to search on youtube you will get some videos uh, how should you know uh, define your linkedin profile so you know improve your linkedin profile other than that personal website and portfolios so it is must to have if you are in an engineering background if you are applying to this right you should have a pot- proper portfolio website of yourself you know whenever a person is visiting that particular portfolio or your personal website you should know each and everything about your wherever you work wherever you live wherever you study if you do anything for your hobby whatever you do right you should have a proper personal website if you don't have right now you know create it you know don't create it by scratch if you don't have time just you know take a portfolio website and uh, you know fork it and you know edit it to your details if you want you can visit my getup profile you can visit my portfolio you can just fork it and you know update your details as well there right so this is this is going to be a very simple task but you should have a proper portfolio website where everything is mentioned the main goal is everything is mentioned okay there you can upload your resume your github and linkedin profile as well and when you will click on to the next page you will see your programs where well, your status your visa status update this you know if you're living in india right in india there if you're living somewhere else right there and then you will have to you know uh, select your programs if you are applying for open source or prep program whatever it is you can you know read about it you can also visit the website there is extra information out there about uh, all these programs so you can select whatever program you are applying to and then you will also have to select the terms as well right so once you select mls fellowship program you will have to select a particular track right and after that you can select terms like if you are applying for mls summer internship summer one and or the fall one you can you know choose in and then you will have a time commitment at least 30 hours per week program and all those things and then you will also have to choose time for a particular meeting so in the mls fellowship they have a proper stand up every day you know monday to friday you will have to be present there every time so you know choose a time that is suitable for you don't choose something that is not suitable for you i i, I repeat it again don't choose something that you are not you know uh, good with or you if you are not an early working guy then you know don't choose the morning time if you are not a you know night owl then don't choose the night time use your proper timing based on your right and it does not affect your app. and when you will click on to the next page you they will be asked about the educational experience and then here you can write about uh, you know if you have if you are in a particular academic institution or if you are in a particular college you can write all the details so, so in this also you know be truthful right don't write any false information don't write anything else you know that is false or write all the truth here and they will judge you based on that if whenever you are graduating just write the truthful date and uh, it will help you don't write anything else that true and that is false you know they will reject your application even though it, it does not affect it but still you know be truthful on whatever you are saying right and then if you click on to the next page then is the core sample which is the most important so whenever you are applying for mlh fellowship there are three very very important thing one is your profile the th- second is your core sample and the third is the essay right so we have talked about your profile how you can improve it like you know have a proper github have a proper linkedin have a proper portfolio website and in the resume as well you know i have given you tips right so uh, apply those tips as well if you want any other tips on the profile just ping me on twitter or instagram or linkedin i will review your profile and i will help you right other than that now coming on to the second part that is the core sample right so core sample is also one of the you know very very important parts and why they require it because they want to see if you are you able to code if you are able to you know at least code in a single programming language you have little bit of experience you know working on it right and also it should be public on githubs so if you are not aware of git and github you know learn about it and uh, you know upload your project over there as well and git github is very easy and very essential and uh, it should not be you know too large they just want to see they just they don't want you to build a complex project they just basically want to see that uh, you know uh, you can code in a single programming language you know how to code you know how the things work if you don't know at the you know high level nobody is going to and also nobody expects us expect us like you know students to write uh, write large code bases right they want you to just write and they just want you to know that you know coding and you understand the basic understructure infrastructure and basic working right so they just want that as well right so if you are working on python then you know no jupyter clearly written right so if you are working on python or any other thing then don't upload jupyter notebook and read all these guidelines that are given right all these guidelines that are given i'm going to give you some examples right proper tips what should be you can do extra uh, uh, other than this right when you are applying for you know giving github profile url or sample for any of the projects then you know make sure that it have a proper readme readme file is really 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 important nowadays so if you don't have a proper readme file your you know 30% chances are gone yes literally 30% chances are in the readme file have a proper you know uh, write all those things let me also you know uh, tell you an example just give me a moment i will open my github and i will tell you. so 
वंस यू विजिट सो वंस यू विजिट योर गेट अप प्रोफाइल यू नॉट शेड हैव अ प्रॉपर रीडमी लाइक योर प्रोफाइल रीडमी दिस इज योर रीडमी सो यू कैन यू नो इफ यू वांट यू कैन कॉपी पेस्ट दिस ओनली एंड यू नो एवरीथिंग शुड बी रिटर्न इट्स अ वेरी शॉर्ट एंड यू नो एवरीथिंग शुड बी रिटर्न ओवर देयर नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द सैंपल कोड राइट यू नो दिस इज माय सैंपल कोड एंड यू नो लेट मी लेट अस सी व्हाट आर द थिंग्स दैट दे लुक आउट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज आई सेड दैट देयर शुड बी अ प्रॉपर रीडमी फाइल सो दिस इज अ प्रॉपर रीडमी फाइल व्हाट इज मेडीलिंक यू नो व्हाट इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट व्हाट इट डज राइट सो हैव अ प्रॉपर रीडमी फाइल एंड आल्सो इफ यू इफ यू वांट पीपल टू कंट्रीब्यूट टू इट राइट यू नो कंट्रीब्यूशंस आर वेलकम हाउ वन कैन contribute right so write all those things if you are new to get github you know you can learn more about it and you know you can write it and also you can also take some templates there are basically templates available for a readme file you can you know copy and paste those templates and nobody an open source is all about collaboration right so there is no harm in copying those so you can copy those readme file and you can update it with whatever your project does and then you should also name and tell you know what are the tools like work use and next uh, if you want others to contribute then you should provide steps to contribute this is not really important thing but yeah you should provide it and if you want you can also provide right images to your particular project right how the project looks like and if it is deployed then it is a plus point they don't want you to be you know the project to be deployed but still if it is void then definitely it's a plus point and uh, you should also provide pictures to your project right whether whether it is deployed or not definitely provide pictures to your project whatever it does and also write the working as where well, like what are the features and all those things that is a really important part going on to the next thing in the code right so what are the other things as well one of the thing is like you know having a requirements dot so the next thing that they look out for is one of the things like you know if you have a proper license or not you know if you have a proper dot git got dot git ignore file as well like what is dot git ignore file you can learn more about it but it's basically a file that ignores uh, a uh, files that you don't want to upload to the you know github cloud right so there should be a proper all those things like you know these are things are very important if you're working on python project requirement txt file that contains all your requirement in this project like i you know i was working on python using django right so i have a proper folder for each and everything right so you should also have a proper folder for each and every component right so if you are if you have accounts then you know you should have a proper uh, folder for that as well right so i have a proper folder if you're working on a monster project or your client and server so you can create two folders one will be client and server you can you know upload all those information in that as well right so yeah. after writing you know now looking on to the coding part like what are the things they look whenever they are looking for a coding part right and also let me tell you the project should be genuinely made by you if you did not make the project they will catch it just in a few seconds because they know they have a lot of experience so whenever you are giving an interview if you are not you know if you are not if you haven't built the project yourself they will catch you in just you know few seconds so make sure that you have only uh, you know created your own project and you know each and everything about it right because they will catch and they have a lot of experience and if you are not able to answer any of their question you know you will be automatically rejected so don't just do it for your profile and do don't upload a complex project that you haven't built on you know apply and provide a regular so while applying provide a proper and uh, you know project made by you only right don't provide any false projects that is that has never been made by you right so right on uh, coming on to the code part so as i said that this should never be complex right but it should be very simple and you should know whatever each and every line is doing so if suppose there is a line over there you should know what this line is what is time zone what is you know how why are you importing time zone and all those things you should be have a proper uh, things as well like what is user class and all those things so you should have a proper uh, knowledge of what these things are and what each line of code does and also you should also comment it right I, here in this uh, you know particular code there is no comment but still you know whenever you are working and whenever you think that any comment is required Uh, so you know you should also comment it. You can provide what other the particular class, right? So you should provide a description as well, comment as well, right? You know, side by side while coding, and you should also also proper structure as well, right? So if you are seeing here, you know, everything is properly structured, right? So have a proper structure and use all those things properly. You should have a proper gap, right? So all these things are really important, and you know they look for all these small small things, and all these small small things really matter. Rather than the complexity, they look out for the cleanliness and you know simpleness and all those things, right? You should and all. so nowadays and let me tell you like you know the uh, competition is increasing so you should also not upload a very simple projects like if you're uh, you know if you're learning python you see people uploading a simple game they build like a tic tac toe so that is not a good thing why because the competition increasing day by day and there are people literally out there they are building you know full stack web application in their second year and they upload it and if you're going to upload a tic tac toe game then definitely you will not have a lot of chances of getting selected because your project is not proper uh, you know properly right so you should have a proper code at least somewhat complex and also uh, so that people can actually judge you that uh, you know coding and you can you know create and build a project as well right so these are the few tips that you should take while you know you are applying for code sample so you know provide your github profile and also write whatever your code does we briefly describe it you have like a lot of words over there i guess 200 words right so you should briefly describe whatever your code sample is in 
200 words and also you should briefly describe whatever you have learned when you created this code temp code sample so this is a really important thing they want you to you know if you're learning things they want you to tell tell them that whatever you have learned and all those things and trust me these two essays and upcoming essays are very important so don't take it lightly you know it affects your applications so write it properly write it uh, in clean manner and write it and be, be truthful right so be truthful while applying to the mlh fellowship right and on the next page you will be you know asked about uh, whatever languages you are comfortable with you will have to choose between those languages i have skipped that part so you can in them as well and now coming on to the third and the you know the last most important thing is about essay questions so essay questions are uh, you know the most important part and they are the first impression for our admission team so if you are not going to write the essays properly you will be you know rejected so write those your essays properly and they have a proper uh, you know structure as well you can take your time you can you know the show you the best possible version you of yourself you can you know read this read these things they have like a proper uh, tips for you there is no count no word count minimum right but we have recommended at least a paragraph for each essay so write a paragraph or two for each and every essay right so one of the first question is why do you want to apply for mlh fellowship or why you want to become a let provide uh, whatever you think is really important like you know whatever your motive is like your actual motive don't write you know i'm applying it just for money okay money is an important factor but it should not be your motivation apply it because you want to learn you know apply it because you want to gain a industry experience apply it because uh, you believe that it will help your career in future right it will help you to shape your career and you know it will help you to get a job in future right and you will also get a, a real life working experience you know collaborating with peers so write all those things that you think are really important right and on the next part like mlh fellowship is a diverse community and that will comes from a wider experience what perspective experience will you bring to the fellowship and also these essays questions maybe you know they changes a little bit but uh, you know they remain same a lot of the time but they can be changed so uh, if in a, if your case whenever you watch you i'm not sure whether these questions will be same right so the next question is what experience you will bring so whatever you have learned till now as i said you can write it that you know i know yeah, i know this particular language i know this particular application this particular framework so i can help people to know about it right so in my case i was uh, you know familiar with blockchain i was reading about it so i told that i'm familiar with blockchain i would love people to know about blockchain so i would love to spread my knowledge whatever i have learned till now and what are the real life use cases so that people can actually learn so if you are you know really enthusiastic about something you want people to know about it right so you can try it about there and you have a particular a particular thing about like a particular framework particular library particular api right so you can tell about that as well right and other other than that anything as you know about whatever you want to know you know you can tell them like if you if you're interested in a particular language particular framework if you want them for that particular you know framework then you other than that if you have any problem and write it down here as well uh, after that uh, you are doing something amazing like a uh, any community work uh, other than that hosting any events and creating content and everything whatever you want to share whatever you want them to you know learn about if you are creating impact in the community whatever you are part time if if that is relevant to mlh fellowship then only write it right so if you are doing anything amazing just you know write it down there and they definitely want you to showcase they want you to you know showcase your best possible version out there so you know write everything out there and you know tell them whatever you are doing so yeah these are the few tips whenever you are applying for mlh fellowship so if you recently got rejected and if you are applying or if you are you know feeling to apply for the next round of mlh fellowship then i guess you know these things will will be you know really important for you to keep in mind so whenever you are applying for the next time you know uh, these three things are very important one is your profile the other is your code sample and the last one is the essay right so i have talked about every aspect of all these things and uh, you know you should definitely listen to the video again if you are you know applying for it write your code properly write your you know code sample should be proper read me file and all those things i've talked about that as well you should have a proper linkedin profile github profile and uh, you know your portfolio and resume should be proper have a portfolio website resume should be proper a single page and uh, you know the things that are mattering should be written properly rather than the things that are irrelevant if this helped you uh do share it on twitter and linkedin you know this video and also share it with your friends that uh, if they got rejected recently as well one of and few of my friends recently got rejected this is how i got the idea like you know i definitely thought that uh, i should help each and every person out there so let's create a video not just help my only friends right so i am i'm creating this video uh, just because of that so yeah if you you know if these tips will help you in future do write it in the comment section let me know just ping me in linkedin or twitter that these steps help you to get selected and uh, yeah Uh, and also subscribe to the channel right now if you haven't yet subscribed like this video and also share it with your friends other than that you know follow me on twitter and on linkedin and also connect with me on instagram as well ping me whenever if you have doubt or anything i would love to talk to you and i would love to help you okay so till then stay tuned and bye bye